Okay, let's dig into our money beliefs. Um, before the age of five, our subconscious is actually being created. And um, so this is where uh, we, we absorb all the information that's coming to us in our subconscious and it kind of actually creates that platform of our experience in life. So a lot, a lot, a lot of thoughts are actually created from our absorption from the people that we spend the most time with before we're at age five. That probably includes your mother and your father. Some may be a simple, uh, some teachers, but mostly mother, father, siblings. So these are actually the core people in our lives that we need to figure out what their thoughts are so we can figure out what our thoughts are and hash them out in order to be able to determine um, how we are, are, are repeating those thought patterns over and over again and if they're serving us or not, right? So um, what I wanna do is have you go share the room just like we did last week and um, I want you to really think about the, the, the beliefs that your mother has about money. So um, let's just get really, really centered for a second. We'll just do a little mini meditation and get um, kind of grounded um, in order to be able to bring all those kinds of belief systems and thoughts up into our minds. So. so take a deep breath all the way through your feet, up from Mother Earth all the way up through your body and out through your crown. And then breathe in through your feet, all the way up through your body, and then out through your crown. One more time, in through your feet, and then out through your crown. And then we're gonna reverse it. In through our crown, all the way through your body, relax, 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 and then out through your feet. In through your crown, bring all that beautiful white light, gorgeous, yummy, masculine energy from Father Earth, from the Father Sky, all the way through your body, all the way out through your feet. Oof, into Mother Earth. Okay, and one more time. In through your crown, all the way through your body, release whatever negativity or whatever is hurting you or anything that is stopping you and have it out through your feet. Perfect. Love it. Okay, so I want you in your mind's eye to imagine a hallway. As you walk down the hallway, and at the end of the hallway, there's big, beautiful white light, kind of shining. It's like, oh, I need sunglasses. And you're walking towards the light. It feels really warm, loving. You're excited, but apprehensive. And you get closer and closer to the light. You're gonna walk into the light, and immediately you're gonna be absorbed by this amazing, gorgeous white light. And you're gonna feel safe and loved and just so juicy, like it's just gonna like fill every cell of your body. But imagine it kind of like heaven and you can hear the angels singing and just this warmth that you've probably never experienced before and or just Fill your heart with it, all of it. Just soak it all in and just yummy feeling. Just bring it all into your physical body. Mm. Just thank yourself, love yourself. Okay, perfect. And then just keep walking through this tunnel of white light. And 
end of the white light, there's a doorway. And then I want you to open the door and inside there's a room. And this room represents the love and the connection you and your mother have. You may notice the decorations, notice the colors, notice the feeling. Absorb all that. And your mother is there in this room. I want you to talk to your mother about her beliefs about money. Discover where she inherited her ideas about money. Ask her about her mother and her father. Any strong influences from her parents about her beliefs about money. As she talks, some of her wounds about Lenny start to heal. And as she heals, you heal, but you co-create some healing around money wounds that you were both co-creating together. those beliefs are no longer valid and we're going to give them back to their your ancestors in a beautiful package with love and light and say thank you for gifting us with these beliefs but we no longer have use for them systems to be recycled by the universe into white light and love. You are now released from these wounds. conversation you can turn back to your mother is about co-creating some magic of life. How do you co-create magic with money? An excitement of money coming into your life. What will you do with the money? How can you sprinkle it with love all over the universe?
let all any and all belief systems about money that are no longer useful in your relationship with your mother put them in a bucket a recycling bucket into the universe anything that is no longer useful relationship to your own personal life your business everything will be cleared by you releasing and saying goodbye and allowing for the universe to show up in a very abundant way synchronicities to happen magic to happen just if you want to visualize writing them on a piece of paper and then putting them into a box, a recycling box by the angels and they can take them off. Or however you want to just send them, send those old belief systems on their way. And then you turn to your mother and say, thank you, mother. I love you. Thank you for all the gifts you've given me. All the lessons. I'm free now. towards the door, you say goodbye, open the door, and you're flooded with beautiful white light again, and you're cleansed and released, and you're so exuberant and excited. Magic is now part of your experience. You skip along the white light down the corridor, and then the light kind of fades, and then you see your body at the end of the corridor. wonderful experiences and all this new abundance to be able to play in the universe, play with the universe. I love it. Perfect. Get in your body. And then when you're ready, just take a deep breath. Oof. Come back to the now. Emerge. Beautifulness.